reigning world champion from 2019, Pusala v Sindhu of India, up against it, Sayaka Takahashi of Japan. And Sindhu is set the number three seat. And we are therefore looking at the bottom half of the draw. And uh, the winner will play the winner of Akane Yamaguchi and Ang Seong. And that was the final of the Denmark Open just last week. And what a final that was. Three thrilling games and Ang Seong had to retire with cramps at the latter stages of that third and final game. So we have some exciting women singles coming up for you. Here we have the players coming on to court. Pasala be Sindhu of India. And then Sayaka Takahashi, Takahashi to follow. And Sindhu is making her eighth appearance here at the French Open with a semi-final as her best. That semi-final was in 2017. And she's up against uh, Sayaka Takahashi, who is making her sixth appearance here at the French Open, but she has never ever passed a second round. So how very well she has done in this tournament. And the head-to-head -head between the two players is 4-3 three, three in favour of Pusala v Sindhu. You receive, she receives and do so. Yes, thank you. And what we saw was that Takahashi won the toss and she chose to receive, which means that she doesn't consider any disadvantage standing on either one of the ends of the court. And Prasalavi Sindhu is 26 years of age and she is born in Hyderabad in India and uh, she's presently number seven on the world ranking and is based on 26 tournaments she has spent 11 weeks as world number two and last time was in October 2018 she's won all her three matches in two straight games so uh, haven't really been pushed apart perhaps from the second round against the Dane Lina Christofferson in the first game when she won 21-19. Her opponent from Japan, Sayaka Takahashi, is 29 years of age. And uh, she is presently number 15 on that ranking, based on 25 tournaments, and she has spent four weeks as world number 10 and last time was on the 22nd of October 2019. Last week in the Denmark Open Sayaka Takahashi lost the second round but here she won her three matches in two straight games and uh, Saina Naval had to, to retire in the first round and I know that Ratchanok Intanon is nursing no. a shoulder injury as well. But still well done by Sayaka Takahashi to enter this semi-final. And uh, the umpire is Micheline Sauvage of France. And the service judge is Shermus Halpin of Ireland. So, obviously, there's a lot to tell about PV Sindhu of India. She's 
she, on top of her gold in 2019 at the World Championship, she's got silver from 17 and 18, and she got a bronze from 2013 and 14. So she's got a, a full Ladies set at the World the Championships. On my right, Sindhu Posala, India. And on my left, Sayaka Takahashi, Japan. Sindhu Kosala to serve. Love all. Play. And Sindhu is getting this match on the way. Serving. One, love. Yeah, that's a good shot from uh, Sindhu. And that's a lovely shot from Seven, uh, Takahashi, cross court. One all. I think these playing conditions, slower playing conditions, would definitely favour PV Sindhu. She likes to play her clears very fast towards the back of the court, pumping the clears. That's just wide, just outside Seven, the court. Seven, Cinder won a silver at the Olympics in 2016, a bronze this year in Tokyo. Yeah, that's well left. Good awareness from Takahashi who oh. became a bronze winner at the Asian Championship, both in 2013 and 2014. And she's got a total of 16 titles to her name. She can be playing extremely well, Takahashi, but at times Three, she's very erratic. Two. Yeah, once again, good awareness. Four, As I've said two. earlier, I actually think that Pusala v Sindhu is playing a little bit with the drift. This is a small little drift. We're talking about a few inches lengthwise on this court. Nevertheless, she's pushed out two already. No, that's long on the back line. Seven to the four all. And that's good awareness too from Five. Sindhu. Left that one on the back line. It wasn't out by much. Four. Semi over. Five all. So it seems that the two players having. A favourite attacking shot from the around the head situation cross court. 
And so far, he's almost been working every single time for both of the two players. So far, this match I've had no really Service over. long rallies. Six, seven. Too many errors early on in the rallies. And that's a really good high serve from Sayaka Takahashi. Again, long on the back line. Service over. Eight, seven. Possibly think the best result for Sayaka Takahashi was winning the Singapore Open 2018, the Super 500 tournament. And if you wonder why Sayaka Takahashi was not playing at the Olympics in Tokyo, despite the fact that she's so high up on the world ranking, the fact is that any country can only be represented by two players. And uh, Japan had already two players into the top ten, which was, of course, Nosomi Okuhara and Akane Yamaguchi, which meant there was no space for Sayaka Takahashi. Nine, eight. No, too late. No, no, sorry. No, it's. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, 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 oh. That was very, very unfortunate. Ten, eight. Uh, she got it on the cheek. She was very lucky. Didn't get it in yes. the eye. But there was a complete open court opposite. Perhaps Sayaka Takahashi thought that Sindhu was actually trying to make a move towards the cross-court shot and therefore going down the line. And she actually gave up and meant that she stayed in the same spot and thereby got the shuffling in her face, which was really, really unfortunate. Apologising once again, Takahashi already done it ten times.
Yeah, that's two cross court smash working again from the around ahead situation. And it's all back Ten. level. Ten all. Oh. serving who will go into the lead at the mid-game interval and that will be Takahashi so after just nine minutes of play 11-10 in favor of Sayaka Takahashi で、So we are ready to commence Play. after the mid-game interval, 11-10. And yeah, that's pushed along on the back line. It's a lovely shot, though. That's Hold and flick down the line, but just too long. <laughs> yeah. Service over. Pusala v. Sindhu went 11. for the big smash. However, she was punished and had to scamper all the diagonal off the court to get to the next one. That's an awesome lift, really good lift. And that's long on the back line. Setting up a two-point lead. 11. Yes, wide. Service over. Unlucky for Takahashi. 12, Thinks she played that rally rather nicely. Eventually, the touch did let her down.
Yeah, well played. But I think, though, that was one stage in this rally. That's it. Cinder really made a big mistake attacking down the line into the left hand of Takahashi. But Takahashi did not play that shot well enough cross court, not enough whip on it. And that meant that Cindy was actually still in the rally and won it. And of course, as we see, the longest rally of the match, 27 shots. Yeah, solid, absolutely Seven, solid seven. down the line from Takahashi. 14 all. And back level. Once again, I think the weakness on the defence of PV Sindhu on her backhand side yeah, yes. is exposed. I've seen it on many other occasions as well when she's playing Akane Yamaguchi and other players. When she's attacked on the backhand side is definitely one of her pe weaker 15, points. 15, 14. Yeah, that's a lucky net court. And if you're wondering what's happening on the adjacent court, 16, it's Kim and Kong of Korea in the women's doubles have beaten Matsuyama and Shida in two straight games. And that's a good smash. That's an awesome smash down the line, this time from PV Sindhu. Really enjoyed that one. That's awesome. trouble yes good play by Sindhu first to smash down the line to the backhand this one here good follow-up stretch to the maximum 17, and a bad lift 16. from Ta Takahashi and that's of course setting up a good opportunity up I like that Sindhu was just going down the center of the court not taking any chances at as or at all Solid play by the reigning world champion. Hey. Misjudgment from Takahashi. 17, 16, sorry. And that can become very crucial. You cannot afford that at this stage and time in the match.
Yeah, two mistakes now from Takahashi. First, the misjudgment, 60. and then this one. And that's giving Sindhu two points. She didn't really have to work for. And 19, 16 up, two points away from taking the opening game. And look at that, that's another one there. And that's something you simply 16. cannot afford to do. 20, game point 16. That's wide. 77. 17, 20. Oh, that's well taken by Takahashi. And it's really well played by Sindhu. And she was stretched. She plays such a wonderful lift. But once again, a smash directed towards the backhand side of Sindhu. Gone and need to change the rackets. And as you can see, the longest rally 29 shots. This time, Kusaravi Sindhu took the point and taking the opening game 21 18 after 22 minutes of play. got the final point of the opening game. Well played Score by Sindhu, the reigning world champion. TV, 20 seconds. But it is interesting when we look at the results of uh, PV Sindhu over since 2018. Second game. She's been, of course, in the top for ever. Bravo but she has actually only won two tournaments in 2018, 19, 20, and 21. And that is the World Championship in 19 and the World Tour Finals in 2018. Ah, oh, that's a good guess. Service over. 
One, love. So considering that she's been a steady performer at uh, all the major events, one have to say that she hasn't really capitalized on it in terms of winning these open individual tournaments. Oh, delightful, wonderful cross-court shot from Sindhu. Service over. One all. Yeah, it doesn't get better than that. Nice. Yes. Yeah, there was a little bit of a confusion there. Whether it was a challenge or just a change of asking for the change of shuffle. It's okay for you? Yes, nice. But the request is not accepted, which means that it, they will carry on with the same shuffle. Yes, it's a good smash. Five, two. From Sindhu. But it's Please. really nice to have Sayaka Takahashi back in the game. She had a very, very bad injury in 2016 at the Olympics in Rio, where she got an ACL injury. And that normally is not. A good sign for singles players, for sure. But she was helped and motivated by her sister to continue, and her sister is actually Ayaka Takahashi, who won that women's doubles at the Olympics in 2016 in Rio. Her partner, Matsutomo. That's a nice follow-up, very Service quick. Over. Four, 
six. Really quick follow-up. Saw that Cinder was troubled by that cross-court shot. Followed in at the net. That's in. Five, six. That's why I've done it. And it's back level. Six all. Well, I can't help thinking back to the end of the opening game where Takahashi gave away. She absolutely gifted away four shots or four points. And that she simply cannot afford. That's really well defended on the body from uh, Sindhu. First the smash and then the push. All set up by this lovely spinning net shot. First defending that one, but that one was, of course, even better. Oh, that's lovely as well. Very steep. Nine, six. I think we have a challenge from uh, Sindhu. For Sula Sindhu, challenges. Called out. Yeah, the shot is called out, and the instant review challenges system is saying the same. Unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Seven nine. Play. Good play. All right. It's call in. It's definitely in. Ten, seven. And Takahashi is actually looking to her coach to get a confirmation whether that shot was in or not. And I actually think that Takahashi did so well attacking that shot at the front of the court on the backhand side. But Sindhu did even better play a spinning net shot on a spinning net shot really well played service over eight ten
Oh, well taken by Takahashi. Covered the cross one as what she should do. Nine, ten. But they shot the most players' favours to play. Covered that one, got it back, got it back with interest. Sindergoes into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-9 after 13 minutes of play. Yeah, but one, just remember this. Oh. So only she how's the name? You walk, you hit close, near net, then she was net. But after she did long block, 100 percent, no 90 percent, 100 percent. So after long block, how? Right? Your legs is bad, is bad. Right on one jump, levy to one jump. Okay, one jump and this cross, no two smash, just half smash. Only this, right? Easy shot. Okay, come on. Eleven nine, play. PV Sindhu serving eleven nine, and now it's for Takahashi to make sure that no easy mistakes are coming from her racket. Cannot afford it, and I think that's the way forward. Attack. Service over. Ten, eleven. Sindhu do not seem too comfortable as and when she's forced into defence and especially once again what we saw here on the backhand side and that's wide service over 12 10 Well left, back level, 12 all. 12 all. I know. No, no, no. Too late. wide as well and suddenly after the mid-game interval Takahashi is back in the lead after having played some very positive badminton good aggressive badminton Yeah. 
Yeah, once again, that really nice spinning net shot on the net shot from Sindhu. All in vain, though, this time as the drop shot goes into the net. If I was Sindhu, I would start putting some pressure on the deep forehand corner of Sayaka Takahashi because that will minimise her options attacking the backhand side. She's got to go for cross-court smashes, which travels a little bit longer and gives her more time to react. a good smash as I if I was sitting behind the court of Sindhu would advise Sindhu to do play towards the forehand side of Sayaka okay, Takahashi fine. and just be aware of the fact that these cross-court blocks are coming Once again, as soon as it's on the around the head situation, and Takahashi is having this 40. opportunity and option to play down the line. It's causing a lot of trouble to Sindhu. Close. Wouldn't like to call that one. It's called in. Sindhu Kosala challenges called in. So let's see what the instant review system is saying. Yeah, just the edge of the line. Challenges unsuccessful. No challenge remaining. Seventeen, fourteen, play. Oh, she is playing well. She's on fire, Takahashi. Eighteen, fourteen, up now. And now she's got to watch out for these simple, easy. Mistakes. Yeah, that was a forced error this time from Sindhu. Fine, fine. Play. Fifteen, eighteen. Pushed right into the corner of the deep forehand from Sindhu, closing the gap to two points. Just wide of the sideline. 
two points away from taking this to a third and final game, 1916. And that's the cross-court block I mentioned earlier that seemed to have to watch out for as and when she's attacking that forehand. 20, game point, 16. So four game points in favour of Sayaka Takahashi. The unseeded player and that's why first time of asking game. and we are treated to a third and final game 21 16 for sayaka takahashi 21 16. で、パッと打ってしまう左からのクロスヘアピンで決めなくていいからそこ。そこをクロスヘアピンたら前出てくるのも遅いからストレート狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに狙わずに
Uh, she was going for it eventually. The cross court slice. Overdone it. Two, one. Solid. Two all. Really getting well behind that shot to play the attacking cross court smash. Good angle and good steepness to it. Takahashi you have to watch Four. out and these Two. mistakes are not creeping into her game again which means that Cinder would kind of run away with it Cinder is playing with the drift, but uh, it's still very minute. And somehow I don't understand why she's not trying to play some more attacking clears over her opponent and really put some pressure at the back of the court. I guess this is happening the whole time as soon as they go front court. So for it is in this final game. <laughs> yeah, the idea wasn't bad. From Takahashi. That smash straight down the line. in the corner good Six placement Six, five. Yeah. 
Monaco. We haven't really had the long, long rallies that what we sometimes see in the women's singles. The longest rally so far is 29 shots. Two players taking a good long time to get ready. So when I was checking up on this match this morning and saw the head-to-head -head between the two players, I thought, wow, is it only 4-3 in favour of Sindhu? But I can understand that now. Some of the weapons that Sayaka Takahashi is having playing her opponent of today is definitely working well. And now she's 9-6 up. Thank you. And Ten. insecurity Six. definitely <laughs> creeping into the game. Arts at Pusala, Vincada, Sindhu. cross block and that's opening up for good smashing opportunities this time down the forehand side solid smash almost on the line and what a turnaround in the second and third game here so far 11-6 for the underdog Takahashi of Japan So what a solid start from uh, Sayaka Takahashi. In this final game, Play. So, Takahashi 11 6 up. The advice of coach Park to Pusala Bisindu 
Just don't give up. It's a good disguise from Takahashi, but well read by Sindhu to that deep forehand corner. Really well read by Kusana v Sindhu. time she's going on the attack now on Takahashi. She's standing a very, eight. very good chance of winning the, the point. The defence at the moment on the Prasala v Sindhu side is, is really not working at all. It was a lovely reverse Service shot, over. but unfortunately Nine. she couldn't control it out of the sideline. But it looks like Prasala Visindu is opting for a more defensive approach now, playing towards the back of the court. That's a lovely shot. Lovely backhand. Service over. Please. 10, 14. Cynthia. Yes. It's a good combination first, the slice, the short slice to the 15, forehand coming here. 10. Then the second time is to smash cross court and bring your opponent back to where he or she was coming from. It is normally a very good tactic. Good play by Takahashi. Locking it court. Somehow the body 16, language 10. from the reigning world champion is a little bit worrying, I think.
one has to consider that uh, Sindhu only played the Denmark Open and now here at the French Open, so she's very fresh compared to a lot of the other players that went to Finland first to play the Sudirman Cup and then to Aarhus in Denmark to play the Thomas and Huber Cup. But Sindhu did not participate in those two events and only came to the Denmark Open and now here in Paris. So she should be absolutely ready to rock and roll. And then a lovely shot down the line again, setting up a seven-point gap. 17-10. And can the reigning world champion find the answers? It's got to be now or never. Eighteen, ten. Yeah, that's good. Service over. The one fears is a little bit too little too late. You are a PV Sindhu fan. But mind you, what happened in the opening game suddenly Takahashi gifted to four points away towards the end of that opening game. Service over. 19. 11. Yeah. And the match point match has arrived. 11. 20 match point 11 for Sayaka Takahashi of Japan, the unseeded player against the reigning world champion from India, Pusala Venkata Sindhu. That's why left on the back line. 12, 20. Survive the first match point, but Four. not the second. Yay. And to the delight of Sayaka Takahashi, she goes into tomorrow's final. And uh, she has never, ever passed the second round here at the French Sayaka Open before. Takahashi. At her sixth 19, appearance, she's 21, made it to the final. 21, 16, 21, yeah, good smash down the line, this match point. Once again, exposing the weakness of her opponent's defense on that backhand side. Yeah, she's delighted. And that's very understandable. And here we've got the confirmation, 18-21, 21-16, 21-12, in a match lasting one hour and eight minutes. But please don't go away, we have a men's singles coming up for you, Cho Chen Chen of Chinese Taipei against Ho Kuang He of Korea.
So welcome back to Yonex French Open 2021 here in Paris. And after this surprise win by Sayaka Takahashi, the unseeded player beating Pusalavi Sindhu of India, the reigning world champion, we will turn our attention to the men's singles, where the former winner here at the French Open, Cho Chen Chen of Chinese Taipei, the number four seat, is up against Ho Kwang Hee of Korea. 